It's another comparison. Seiko Aroma versus the Seiko Via Venezia. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I'm just gonna go over the different features of these machines because people get a little bit confused about what each one of them, what makes them different. Obviously, the casing is different, you can see that. Under the hood, they both have stainless steel boilers, five ounce boilers, the same boiler, the same components on the inside, so that's identical. The casing, as you can see on the Aroma, this is one of the smallest machines out there. It is extremely small. The Via Venezia, just a little bit bigger, has a few different features. Uh, I'll go over that, you know, basic, the basic features. Both of these machines are equipped to do ESE pods, and they give you the single basket, and then this is for the pods, the pod adapter. They give you a scoop as well with the Via Venezia, and this is your drip tray. This is your accessory tray down here. You can put all your stuff in there. Both machines have a pressurized portafilter system. They're both chrome-plated brass. They both have the pressurized system on the inside. The handle is a little bit different. Hard plastic and more of a rubberized grip on this one here. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? One of the key features about between these two machines is they both have the Panarello steam arm, which produces a lot of foam. They don't have the traditional steam arm like other machines where you can control the foam. You're, you're gonna get a lot of foam. This one goes side to side on the Aroma. You can see the clearance is slim. This one is on a ball joint and swings out. What's the advantage of the ball joint? Let's say you're foaming milk, and this is a 16 ounce frothing pitcher. Some people do 20. You get it under there, you make your foam, and sometimes the foam is way up here. And when you go to get it out, spillage. This one, you can do it, drop it down, and pull it out. Water tank on both of these is in the back. This one is 98 ounces. I, this thing is huge for a machine of this size. It's a swimming pool. It sits right in the back there. You can just take the lid off and fill it. This one, you can fill from right here, or if you want to get at the water tank to clean it, put that portafilter in there pretty firm. You can pull it out this way, and it is 85 ounces. Just a little bit smaller, but still a really big water tank for a machine of this size. Now, both machines come in the black that you see here, or stainless. There's gonna be a little bit of an increase between the black and the stainless. Black powder coating just is cheaper to produce. And uh, the aroma comes with the scoop, the ESE pod adapter, and this is supposed to be a knockbox, box, a wooden bar that comes out. Uh, you know, I would not use that for a knockbox box myself. I think it's a little bit, yeah, you really have to bang these uh, pressurized systems because you get more of a slurry than a good firm puck. So you'd be banging quite a bit to get it out of there. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Cup clearance. Uh, what I have found, I messed around. This is the cup clearance on this one. It's about, I'm going to say about three inches. This one isn't that much more, probably about the same. But what I found by playing around, if you take this stuff out of here, you have your bottom tray here. You can take this and put it in here. The mother of invention. It wasn't necessary. This is one of the first machines I ever played around with, and I thought, ah, oh, the cup clearance isn't very high. So I started playing around, and voila, there you go. You can use it that way. You're sacrificing your tray for your goodies, but hey, put it in the kitchen, you know, cupboard in a drawer, and walk away, and it'll all be good. So that's the Aroma by Seiko, Via Venezia. Same buttons you can see, steam knob on the front here, steam knob on the side. These machines make pretty good steam. They make a pretty good uh, shot of espresso. Pressurized, so it's easier to use, not as fussy, and self-tamping. Neither one of these machines need to be tamped. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. And then also, if you want to upgrade to a non-pressurized portafilter, we offer that um, on our webpage, and it's an extra cost, but if you want to step up your game, get a decent grinder, get the grind right in the tamp, you can do that with both of these machines and still be in a budget that's quite affordable. So I'll review these uh, 
stats on our webpage, look at the machines, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Thanks a lot, and enjoy your day. Thank you.